Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm blessed God for this time to bring God's truth to you. Now this is a new week and I know God has something planned for you. Listen, the Spirit of God is moving all over the earth. And I'll tell you what, when you open your heart to receive Him, He comes to dwell inside you. Not just to dwell, but like Jesus said, He will teach you all things. Praise God. Yeah, that's His job. He is to teach you. And then He is also to guide us into all truth, every truth. So we depend on the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth. That's why I tell people, who don't take the Holy Spirit seriously. What are you doing with your life? See, some people search the scriptures to know truth. And most times, they even get confused. But Jesus didn't tell us to search scriptures to know truth. He told us that the Holy Spirit will guide you into all truth. Did you see that? See? If you search the scriptures without the Holy Spirit, you will not find truth. You will get confused by what you think is truth. It's only when the Holy Spirit now takes you through those scriptures. He will now begin to bring out the mind of God from those scriptures. That's why Jesus said something very enlightening in John chapter 5 and verse 39. He said, you search the scriptures. For in it, you think you will find truth life and those scriptures testify of me then he now said but you will not come to me that you may have life look at that statement carefully what's jesus saying the scriptures will not give you life the scriptures testifies of jesus and the scripture states that jesus will give life now jesus has come and many are still looking for in the scriptures to find life. Jesus was saying to those Jews, and he's still saying the same thing today. You will not come to me that you may have life. If you search the scriptures apart from Jesus, what do I mean? If you search the scripture without the Holy Spirit guiding you, he is the one that will tell you the meaning of the scriptures. Or you find people who are using the scriptures to tell the meaning of the Holy Spirit. No, sir. It doesn't work that way. And, and that's why people get confused. They don't understand what, what's going on. Because they really don't know what truth is. You see, Jesus left. When he left the earth, he told us, it is good for you that I go. Because when I go, the Holy Spirit will come. Think about it. Just think about it. For Jesus, it is good for us that he goes away so that the Holy Spirit will come. Today, the Holy Spirit has come. So whose truth today? Truth is the Holy Spirit. Because he, he is representing Jesus. That's what Jesus said. He will not speak of himself, but he will take of mine and he shall reveal it to you. So he's doing in us today what the whole Jesus would have done if he was here physically. That's what the Holy Spirit is doing. So he's not just in us to help you speak in tongues, to help you do miracles, to help you heal the sick. Funny enough, that's where a lot of people have limited him. To. People have limited him to ministry. But they don't understand this, that most times when it comes to ministry, it's not necessarily the Holy Spirit that is at work, but it is the work of angels. Now I pray the Spirit of God gives us or chance to go into that. The Holy Spirit, His ministry is first in your life. His work is done in your own life. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. And that's why I tell people most times, especially ministers, sometimes you don't understand the difference between the Holy Spirit and the angels. You know, we've been talking about angels this whole month. And we're still talking about angelic assistance. So you don't know your assignment in life 
It is angels that help you fulfill your assignment. I'll tell you what happens. And, and I pray this brings light to many of you. Now, when God gives you an assignment, the moment you receive that assignment, an angel is released to you. And the job of that angel is to see to it that you fulfill that assignment. Now listen. The Holy Spirit is also in you. But the instruction for that assignment mostly will be given by the angel. Sometimes when you hear ministers say, oh, the Spirit of God is standing on the right side, you know, your ministry, and then you just say strongly that the Spirit of God is standing on the right, and then things begin to happen there. It's not the Holy Spirit that they are talking about. It's an angel that is standing there. He said, what do you mean by that? And I'm telling you the truth. And then if you don't understand this, ah, you're going to have challenge in ministry. So, so, so people talk. Oh, you know, for example, if God have given you a healing ministry, in other words, if God, you know, now, now you, you can function in several parts in ministry. But you see, there are times either you convert it or God gives you the grace for it, whatever it is. The moment you enter into a specific kind of ministry, there's a specific angel that is assigned to you. That is the angel that does these things. you understand this now so what's the work of the holy spirit the work of the holy spirit is to prepare you to do the work right and then eventually preparing you to enter into the kingdom so you find people sometimes you know they are doing ministry they are doing ministry they are doing ministry and they don't concern they are not concerned about how they live their lives some people doing ministry, but their life is full of sin. And but but things are still happening, you know. People people look at people who know them closely. I know this guy is a bad guy, but how come things are so? You know, like, ah, maybe this guy is a false prophet. Maybe he has he's using another kind of power to do this thing. No, not necessarily. Now, of course, we know there are people who use all kinds of things, but I'm talking about people who are genuine before God. Even when you're genuine before God. The Spirit of God can depart from you and you will not know it. He can separate from the work that you're doing and you will not know it. Why won't you know it? Because the angel will never separate from you. The only reason the angel will not function is when you don't stand in that place. See, because he's been sent to help you fulfill that ministry. The way you live your life is none of his business. It's none of the angel's business. So, a man, for example, who's been graced with the ministry of healing, he can, for example, he can sleep with a prostitute all night. I mean, sleep in a brothel with a prostitute all night. And he has a healing meeting by morning. And from that brothel, dresses up, goes for that healing meeting, and people will get healed. You say, how, how does that happen? I'll tell you how it happens. It's the angel at work. The angel is not concerned where he slept or what he did before. The angel is concerned that he is now at his place of assignment and God is going to do the things that he has ordained to do in that place. You know, you know sometimes people don't understand so they try to explain this thing in different ways. I'm telling you the truth, this is what happens. You stand in that place of ministry, the angel will be there. He will be there to give you words. He will be there to, 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 to cause things to happen. But now you see, it is the work of the Holy Spirit that will, He's the one that will convict your heart. The angel can never convict your heart. That's not their rule. He will convict your heart. And he will tell you, hey, you can't continue like this. So when, when all you hear, I'm talking to you now as a minister, when all you hear in your hearing from God is all about the work, the ministry, the people, the ministry, the work, the ministry, and you don't hear anything about your life personally. He, he, you don't hear corrections in your life. You don't hear those kind of things. You're in trouble. You are in trouble. Because you may finish doing all those great work and still miss the kingdom of heaven. Oh yeah, I'm telling you the truth. You will, do, you will miss the kingdom of heaven. Hmm. 
You want to live the right life? Listen to what the Holy Spirit is saying. And you will hear him. See? Most times when we finish preaching, when we finish sharing, you know, God's truth, and then we go back, and we, we go and we, we, we get on our knees and we begin to give thanks. And while you're giving thanks, you will hear the voice of the Holy Spirit speaking to you. He said, so there is something you said today that isn't right. Okay, what was it? You said this and you said that. That's not true. That's not the way it is. Oh, wow, Lord. I'm sorry. I thought, so, so what's the truth? Look at this scripture. Look at this scripture. Oh, oh, whoa. I'm so sorry, Lord. Now, who's doing that work? That's the work of the Holy Spirit. That's not an angel. That's the Holy Spirit. Now, if that is not happening in your life, all you hear, son of man, rise up. And go take this city. And then you go, you take the city. Things happen. Son of man, rise up. Go take that city. But you know, you know, your life is going down. There are people like that. There are ministers in depression. Lots of things happening. When they stand to speak, things are happening. But their personal life, nothing is happening. No fellowship with the Holy Spirit. No fellowship with the Holy Spirit. So you may preach and people get blessed, but you're not blessed. You're suffering. Why do people get blessed when you preach and you are suffering? Because the angel will walk. He's not the angel for your personal life. He's the angel for the work that you're doing. So as long as you are there at that work, he does well. But when it comes to your personal life, he has no say. So you bless people financially, and yet you are broke. It is only the Holy Spirit that can begin to take you through the secrets for your own personal life. I pray and understanding hits your spirit even as I'm saying these things. Because they are very, very important. Many people have lost the, their way because they didn't know this. But when we pray, we pray to the Lord. We don't pray to angels. We pray to the Lord. We fellowship with the Lord. Then when we stand up from that place of fellowship, the angels are ready to do our biddings. This is how it works. But you don't follow the angel because you're seeing the signs and you're running with the angel. Because people get, you know, oh, we had success in this city. So what do we do? Go to the next city. Yes! You didn't go back before the Lord to refresh even yourself. You need times of refreshing before the Holy Spirit. He's the only one that brings that refreshment. He's the one that will tell you, hey, slow down, check it. Check this, check this, check this. That's the work of the Holy Spirit. So I'm talking to you now. If you or you're a minister, now when I say minister, I'm not just talking about those who are preaching. It can be your job because your job can be the place of your ministry. And all you receive is wisdom concerning your job, wisdom concerning your business, wisdom concerning, and no wisdom concerning your personal life. So you see, your ministry is doing well. Your marriage is dying. And, and you receive no caution concerning your marriage. You, you never had the Holy Spirit tell you, hey, your wife is not happy with you. The, no angel will tell you that it's none of their business. It's only the Holy Spirit that will tell you, hey, son, you need to deal with this thing. You need to withdraw. Pay attention to your family. Pay attention to your wife. It's only the Holy Spirit that will tell you that. So when you don't hear that and you see the foolishness in men, they begin to think that, oh, my wife is becoming a distraction to me. My wife is becoming a distraction because she, she's seeking attention and me she's seeking attention. And then you begin to say, oh, my wife, my wife, my wife, my wife. You are dying. You don't know it. You're dying. And then you get to that spot when, when your wife now says, okay, I don't, I don't think I want anymore. I, I want a divorce. You say, eh, it's better you go so that I'll fulfill the calling of God. You will, you will do all that work and you are going to stand before the Lord and he's going to ask you concerning that marriage. What shall be your defense? Some of you need to go back to the spirit of God. 
and retrace your step. And let him begin to guide you again. Because he left you, he left guiding you many years ago. Not that he's left you completely. No, 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 no. But he stopped guiding you. He is just allowing you to do what you want to do. Listen, our time is up. And I'll continue tomorrow. I pray wisdom comes to your spirits today. In Jesus' name.